Hello, this is Allie with The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I want to talk to you about present moment awareness. So the truth about present moment awareness, why it's important, why it should matter to you, and why it's so hard to get there, okay? So when anyone kind of starts out on a spiritual path or a personal development path or a personal growth path or kind of like any of these like, you know, areas, um, even um, athletics, uh, when we pursue kind of things like this, uh, there tends to be a lot of emphasis on drawing your mind into the present moment. Okay, and I feel like the the whole value in being in the present moment, uh, the communication of why it's so great to be in the present moment, has been lost throughout kind of history and time. And now it's just become this kind of like spiritual uh like goal where we're all like trying really hard to be in the present moment and and uh beating ourselves up when we're not in the present moment so usually when people like start off on a spiritual path we kind of hear this teaching about being in the present moment and how great that is and how important it is to be here now and all of this stuff and then you go about trying to do that and you realize it's really hard i can't do it i um i'm struggling a lot with being in the present moment i try and calm my mind in meditation and i can't or i try and pull my focus into the present moment and i don't like it or i don't want to or it's difficult and a lot of spiritual teachers and personal development and personal growth teachers will kind of offer some tools to help you pull your mind into the present moment. But the problem is, is that no one is dealing with the actual reasons why it's difficult to pull yourself into the present moment. And so if you don't actually deal with why it's so hard to be there, uh, you won't actually be able to get yourself to be there. So that is what I want to talk to you about today first, is why is it so hard to be in the present moment? If it's so good for us, if all these spiritual teachers tell us it's the most important thing, if all these personal growth people tell us it's the most amazing thing, why is it so hard? Um, and the main reason why being in the present moment is hard is because for most of us, the last time we were in the present moment, it was awful. Okay, the last time you were pro present, the last time you were truly, completely focused in the moment of what was going on, you were probably a child and something traumatic was probably happening to you, either emotionally or mentally or physically. Something was happening to you that you felt like you didn't have control over or that you couldn't deal with. You didn't have the skills to deal with. And so you learned that instead of staying in this present moment that's super painful, you learned how to check out. Okay, you learned how to um, remove yourself from the present moment to make yourself feel better. Okay, and then you started to get into the habit of doing that every single time something unpleasant happened until you got to the point where it was just such a habit to check out of present reality, to be in the past or to be in the future, that that was just what you were doing all the time. Okay, the second thing is, the last time you were in the present moment may not have been in your childhood, but it was definitely, most likely for most people, if you're not like kind of in a practice of trying to pull yourself into the present moment on a regular basis anyways, is, was the last time you were having something traumatic happen to you. Because this is what stress does. When we are in a moment of stress, when we are in a moment of fear, when we are in a moment where our fight or flight response is being activated, so we almost get in a car accident, your boss walks by and it's scary to you, you get in a fight with your lover, all of these things that are like these fight or flight um, responses happening in your body, that pulls you into the present reality. And that's not really a very pleasant situation to be in, you see? So now most of us are walking around with this underlying subconscious um, uh, connection of present reality being this painful thing that I don't want to deal with, okay? And so this is why most of us feel this huge resistance to present reality um, awareness. And then the last thing that a lot of people I think deal with with present reality awareness is most of us, um, if we're not fearing the present moment because we're afraid it's going to be traumatic and terrible and we've got this subconscious patterning that every time we've been in the present moment it's been awful, um, we have this subconscious under our fear that the present moment is going to be boring and it's not going to be fun and we kind of are like uh, our brains are a little bit addicted to the drama of the past present 
or the past future dichotomy and the and the the fight or flight everything's really exciting like I'm only in the present moment when it's this big emergency this big loud exciting thing so when there's not really anything going on your brain is kind of just like oh well let's invent something right let's invent something exciting to think about about the past like so a very traumatic thing that happened and we can get all emotionally riled up about it or a future thing where we can get all emotionally riled up about it either positive or negative and uh, and a lot of the time it's really just boiling down to like we don't want to be bored we don't want to be in the present moment where nothing really exciting is happening and all of these things are what they are okay so we I think first things first is just to acknowledge that if you struggle to be in the present moment, it's not because there's something wrong with you. It's usually because you have a traumatic association with the present moment. You've been in too many situations where the present moment was ignited by stress. You were there in the present moment because of a stressful situation and you didn't feel like you had the tools to deal with it. And so now you have this negative association with the present moment. So of course, anytime you try and pull yourself into it, you're not going to want to go there, right? Because the last time I was there, it was awful. All the times before that I was there, it was awful. And so that is part one. This is really why people don't want to be in the present moment and why we struggle with it so much. Because again, if it's this like awesome state, why do we fight it so much? Why is it so hard to be there? Well, that's why. Because for most of us, it's either traumatic or we're afraid that it's going to be boring. Okay, so second thing that I want to talk about is the actual purpose and the actual reason why you would want to be in the present moment to begin with, right? Because like when we think about it, a lot of people, I think, also have this fear that if I'm in the present moment all the time, then I'm going to like lose control of my life because I'm not like planning. I'm not um, being, I'm not having foresight. I'm not uh, thinking about the future. I'm not planning for my future. And then what? I'm just going to be like a homeless person on the street because I didn't plan. And so that is a myth of being in the present moment. Okay, so now let's talk about the actual benefits of being in the present moment and why you want to be there. So it's not for some spiritual goal so that you can say you're in the present moment, so that you can like have this badge of honor that says, hey, I'm present, right? It, so what? It, it doesn't matter if you can do it for the sake of doing it. The point of being in the present moment is because it benefits you, okay? So this is what I want to tell you about the present moment is that there are essentially three P's of the present moment that make it awesome. So number one, the first P is your power. All of your power is in the present moment. So like I say, when we look at someone who's like an athlete, right? And they're like in that moment where they're going to go do their event. They're going to go do their swim. They're going to go do their run. They're going to go do their fight. They're going to go do whatever it is that they do athletically. They cannot be thinking about what they are going to have for dinner. They can't be thinking about the fight they had with their friend. They can't be thinking about their money. They need to be fully and completely present and aware in order to achieve these levels of greatness that are like the top athletes achieve and literally you will talk to athletes and essentially um, like all the athletes at the top they are like pretty much physically matched with each other the difference between the winners and losers is not physical on any level anymore because they're all like at peak physical condition what the difference is between the people who win and the people who don't win at that level of athleticism are the people who have control of their minds are the people who have the ability to take everything that they've learned everything that they've done everything that they've trained for all of the preparation that they've had up until that moment and they can put it into practice by being in the present moment by bringing all of that to right now okay so in the present moment is where all your power is okay so even when we think about like the fear of if I'm in the present moment all the time I'm not gonna be planning for my future well the thing is the only time where you are able to actually do something proactive about your future is in the present Okay, and the only time when you're going to be able to actually know what is appropriate for you for your future, not in a fear state, okay, but in a understanding, uh, higher wisdom, higher knowledge, being able to use your frontal lobe, not your brainstem when you're activated in fear, fight or flight, right? When you're not in fight or flight, when you're in rest and digest, then you can make all these like amazing, rational, forward thinking you know, decisions in your present moment, again, using all of your power that you have in order to make something nice for yourself. So it's, it's like, it's not saying being in the present moment means like you never save money. It means that you are able to like s consciously create this amazing plan for yourself for your future. And you're consciously able to do something responsible with your money rather than spend it in fear. 
right? And so all of your power is in this present moment. All of your ability to do something good for yourself in the future is in this present moment. So even to be afraid that if you're in the present moment, you're not going to be prepared for your future is silly because it's in this moment that you have the power and the awareness to do something about your present, uh, your future situation. And if you're in the present moment, you always have what you need to deal with the present moment in the present moment. Okay. And that's kind of part three that I'm going to train you or teach you about um, as, after I finish talking about the three piece. So your power, all of your power is in the present moment. You can't actually do anything in the future and you can't do anything in the past. You have only power here. Okay. Second P is pleasure. In the present moment is where all the pleasure is. All right. And this is, I think, something that people really, really short circuit in their life and they really cut themselves off from a lot is, is the experience of pleasure because we're never here. We're never here experiencing it. We work, 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 work to get to these places that we want to be, to get into these situations that we think are going to make us happy. But because we're so out of tune and out of sync and out of practice with being in the present moment, we get where we want to get. We have these peak moments and we can't even enjoy it because we're not there. Okay. And so that is the second P of the of present moment awareness is that that is when you can truly enjoy what's happening to you. That is when you truly are able to be again in that rest and digest state in that forward frontal lobe state where you can actually experience the pleasure of the moment. And um, so just to understand that, that it's like if you are not practicing being in the present moment, if you're not practicing drawing yourself to where you are, you're never going to enjoy anything in your life. You're going to like have these peak experiences and you're going to be really, really disappointed in, in life. And I think this is kind of where a lot of people start to feel like the physical reality is shitty and that it never gives you what you want or whatever. Like you can't look outside yourself for something because it's all inside. Well, that's not necessarily true. Sometimes there really are things in this 3D reality that are quite good, that you're going to really enjoy, that are totally a part of your path, that are totally a part of this experience for you to experience. And it is outside of you, but you have to be there to experience it. You see? So number one, your power is all in the present moment. Number two, your pleasure, all in the present moment. You can't have pleasure. You can have like ideas and fantasies about other, like the future things that could happen or past things that have happened. But again, you're experiencing that pleasure now, right? You're not actually going back in time. You're not actually going into the future. You're experiencing that pleasure right here, right now, right? So the more you can draw yourself into the present moment when amazing things are happening to you, the more you can experience pleasure in your life on a daily basis, okay? Third thing, the third thing that's in the present moment, and this is the third P, and this is the, again, the other, the reason why most people don't spend time in the present moment is your pain. All of your pain is in this present moment. And so everything that's ever happened to you that's traumatic, that you've never healed, everything like that is happening to you right now that's painful is all also in this present moment. But there is a caveat in that in saying that like because all of your pain is in this present moment that means when you're able to be available for yourself in this present moment you can heal your pain okay so you only have access to healing your pain in the present moment mm -hmm. so even so uh, this is why again most people run from the present moment because your pain comes up when most people come into the present moment there is pain it's uncomfortable it's remembering all the traumatic things that have happened to you that you felt like you didn't have control over. And I'm going to talk more about that in the next video, but it's just to understand that that's a part of it, okay? But it's also a good thing because you can only heal your pain in the present moment. So be the reason your pain shows up in the present moment is because that's the only place it can be healed. So when you learn how to be in the present moment, that's how you learn to heal, okay? So. That's why we don't want to be in the present moment. Those are the three P's of why you should want to be in the present moment. Now, how do you get into the present moment? So instead of trying to train yourself to be in the present moment all the time, which is just hard, right? Because again, you have all these negative associations right now with the present moment because that's where your pain is and that's where all the trauma that's happened to you is. So what I have been giving people to do to help start to just train your brain to trust the present moment a little bit more is when you're not being triggered when something terrible is not happening, okay? When life is relatively calm, this is when you want to pull yourself into the present moment, okay? This is when you want to practice pulling yourself into the present moment and noticing that it's not that bad, okay? So how do you do this? First thing that you do, stop when you know that there's nothing going on. So you're not driving, like don't do this when you're driving. Like maybe when you're like doing the dishes and your kids are in bed and everything's calm or when you're just kind of like sitting at home 
watching TV or reading a book or whatever. Like nothing terrible is happening. It's just kind of a mundane moment. Um, you're going to look and you're going to list five things you see, five things you hear, five things you physically feel. So like your clothes against your skin or your hair on your face, just five things you feel, anything you smell and anything you taste. All right. So list those things. So just notice. And then you're going to list 10 things that you're grateful for that are currently in your present reality. So I'm grateful for my home. I'm grateful for my partner. I'm grateful for the job that I have. I'm grateful for the food that I ate, whatever it is. And, and try to make them things that are present within your current reality, right? So not like things that happened to you 10 years ago, but things that are kind of happening now, right? 10 things you're grateful for. And then you're gonna take 10 slow, deep breaths, allowing your body to just relax a little bit more with every breath. And then by the time you get to the end of your 10th breath, you're going to notice that your mind is going to be still. Just, it might even just be for a second, right? You might jump to thoughts like right after that, and that's fine. But just notice in that little bubble that you've created, just notice your surroundings. And just say to yourself, okay, the present moment isn't that bad. Nothing bad is happening here. Nothing scary is happening here. I'm okay. The present moment is okay. And then you go back to your life, right? And you do that a couple of times a day. And this is going to help to train your brain that the present moment is not always this big, traumatic, scary thing that you want to get away from. Nor is it this big, boring, awful thing that's, you know, preventing you from planning your future, right? You just start to train your brain that the present moment is not scary, it's not an attack, and that you can be there and that it can be safe, right? So don't try and do this when you're triggered. Don't try and do this when you're scared. Don't try and do this when something terrible is happening. Don't try and do this in the middle of anything crazy. Doing this only in times of calm because you want to start to train your brain that the present moment is okay. All right, and then the next video I'm going to go deeper into it. Um, but for now, just practice that. All right, so leave me any questions, comments, concerns down below. Like, subscribe, find me on Facebook, uh, Perception Trainers. Find me on Instagram. I'm now Ally underscore Perception Trainers because that makes more sense to be cohesive. And uh, sign up for our uh, three free three-day program down below. Uh, we're going to send out stuff about that coming out pretty soon. But yeah, get on the list and then uh, be the first to figure out about a, our three free-day challenge. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks, man.